The court basically acknowledged that yes, we are discriminating against this woman, but we're doing it to protect the integrity of women's athletics. Semenya is on her way once again in that rolling buccaneering. What do you make of that? Oh, right, William. Well, first of all, we cannot say it enough how terribly Kester Semenya has been treated, uh, especially by the IAAF. Uh, this is a woman who is so important in her country, obviously a woman of color in South Africa. We know our history there. Uh, and for her to be dragged through 10 years, basically, of uncertainty when she was born this way is uh, astounding. And the lack of leadership there is, is remarkable. Having said that, this is a conversation that I think we're going to be having for the next 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, a conversation about exactly, uh, well, one, the level of testosterone that we would like to see allowed in women's and girls' sports. Uh, whether, of course, with Castor Semenyo, she was born this way. But it easily morphed right, it's into... It's crucial to keep saying this, that she did nothing to change. No. This is how she is. And I have written columns defending her. Absolutely. But the important point is there is a larger conversation. And this may well be, as a journalist covering the Olympics now for 30-some years, this may well be, William, a story. Imagine if your body was paraded around in a foreign land where people gazed upon you intently, actively, unabashedly, where your body was being observed for being a freak, for being strange, for being abnormal. When, when you're born, you're born. There's nothing anyone can do. There's no, you know, scientific, you know, test or anything that can define a human.